Let's now talk about some properties of limits. You can use these properties to calculate limits or to prove that they're defined without needing to go into the details of epsilons and deltas. Our first property is that the limit as xy goes to ab of x equals a. Similarly, the limit as xy goes to ab of y equals b. Also, the limit as xy goes to ab of a constant c is equal to c. The next property is that the limit of a sum is the sum of the limits. That is, the limit as xy goes to ab of f of xy plus g of xy equals the limit as xy goes to ab of f of xy plus the limit as xy goes to ab of g of xy if both limits on the right side are defined. So if both limits on the right are defined, then the limit on the left is also defined and equal to the sum of the limits on the right. And similarly, just in shorthand, the limit of a product fg is the limit of f times the limit of g, assuming that both the limit of f and the limit of g are defined and the limit of f over g is the limit of f over the limit of g if both the limit of f and the limit of g are defined um, and also the limit of g is not equal to zero. A more general property which is useful is that if let's say h from r to r is continuous and the limit as xy goes to ab of f of x equals xy, excuse me, equals l, then the limit as xy goes to ab of h of f of xy equals h of l. So an example would be that the limit as xy goes to ab of e to the x plus y equals e to the a plus b. So here we're taking h to be the function e to the x, or let's say h of t equals e to the t, and f of xy equals x plus y. So by this sum rule up here, the limit of x, and th these rules for the limits of the coordinate functions, the limit of x plus y is a plus b, and so then we can just apply h to it to get that the limit of h of x plus y is h of a plus b. Now there's one important definition related to this last property. So we say that a function f of two variables is continuous at the point AB if f of AB is defined and the limit as xy approaches ab of f of xy equals f of ab. 
So this is the easiest kind of function to evaluate the limit of. You just plug in a and b for x and y and evaluate. Now the properties of limits on the previous page imply that constant functions are continuous. Um, the coordinate functions are continuous. Um, sums, um, products, and quotients of continuous functions are continuous. And finally, compositions with continuous functions from R to R, that's where we apply the function H. These are all continuous. Okay, so this is analogous to the way continuity works for functions of one variable. Right? And just to give you one example of a function which is not continuous, let's define a function f of x, y to be 1 if x, y is not the origin, and 0 if x, y is the origin. And this is not continuous at 0, 0. Because the limit as x, y approaches 0, 0 of f of x, y is 1. So remember, in the definition of limit, you never evaluate anything at 0, 0. So the definition of the limit only, only concerns the values of the function at points which are near 0, 0, but not equal to it. So since at every other point the function is 1, in the same way that it, well, it follows from the property that the limit of a constant is the net constant, that this limit is equal to 1. However, that's not equal to 0, which is what we defined f of 0, 0 to be.